Hi and welcome back. In the last couple of videos we've seen how to set up your profile and how to set up your course inside of Moodle. In this video I want to show you how to add resources to the various weeks or topics inside of your Moodle course. And for this example I've chosen a weekly outline but everything we're going to do is going to be the same whether you're in a weekly format or whether you're in a topical format. And again you can change that by going to edit settings under course administration. Now in order to edit the individual weeks in this course you're going to come up here and say turn editing on in the upper right hand corner. When I click turn editing on after a brief moment you're going to see that I've got a lot of new icons and drop down lists for each one of the weeks here. And I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a short description and summary of this first week. I do that by clicking this icon right here. It looks like a little hand with a pencil on it. When I click that, you'll go to a different window that will allow you to enter in a description of the course. Now, this is kind of interesting. If this happens here, if the screen doesn't look right to you, all you need to do is click on the refresh to reload the page right there. There we go. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click right in here in the summary area and I'm going to go ahead and type this is a description. Oops. And again you have all of these different tools here at your disposal. And again most of these should be familiar to you from working with Microsoft Excel or Word or some other Microsoft application. You probably recognize the B button, the italic button, the underline button, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes right here and you'll see that that text has been added in as a description for this week. And again I can always go in and edit the description for a week by simply clicking this hand with the pencil icon in it. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to see how to add some resources to the individual weeks. And we're going to see how to add a couple different things. We're going to see how to add a file and we're also going to see how to add a web link. To do that, you're going to click the drop down arrow here where it says add a resource. And again, the first thing that I want to go ahead and do is, ha is add a file to this particular week. And this could be any kind of a file you want it to be. It could be a Word document, PowerPoint presentation, PDF file, whatever you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on file. And again, after a second, the screen's going to refresh and it's going to give me the opportunity to name the file that I'm going to upload as well as provide a description for it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and type sample Excel spreadsheet here. And I could type a description in. Uh, this is a set of baseball statistics. And then I'm going to go ahead and come down here under content and click the add icon, the add button right here. When I do that, I'm going to come into my file picker dialog box. You're going to want to click upload a file right here. You may already be at that window, but if you're not, just click on upload a file right here. And then I'm going to click choose file and I'm going to select, in this case, an Excel spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and click OK right here and then click upload this file. And once I've done that I can just scroll down a little bit more and say save and return to course. And that's all you need to do to add a document or a file to your particular page or to a particular week um, in your course. And you can see I can just simply click right there and it will download that Excel spreadsheet. Now you're going to see these icons and drop down lists are still appearing for me and that's because I'm still in editing mode. To come out of editing mode I'm going to click right up here where it says turn editing off and after again a brief moment you'll see the week has been restored back to the way participants will see it. And then again to go back in and edit a particular week you're going to go ahead and click turn editing on right here. And now I've got my icons as well as these drop downs. 
Now, if you have multiple files listed here, you can use these icons to either indent them or move them up and down to change the order. I can also edit the file. Actually, I can edit the information about the file, not the file itself. Or I could delete it by clicking the X right here. In this case, I want to add a second resource. In this case, I want it to be a web URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click on URL here. And again, this is just going to be a very simple link. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say IT Training Website. And then I could enter a description in here. And the URL I need to enter in this area. Now, you can either type the URL out or you can right click and paste it in if you've copied it from a browser window. You can also click here on choose a link and it will come into the file picker dialog box. Well since I haven't added anything to my file picker you can see sorry none of the current repositories contain or can return external files. I'm going to close that out and again I'm just going to come in here and click this and type in the web link. And in this case, I'm just going to make this a link to the information technology, whoops, to the information technology training homepage at Cal State Fullerton. Once I've typed that link in, I can come all the way to the bottom and say save and return to course. And you'll see in week number one, a link has now been added called IT training website. And again, I can still see all the icons, but if I click Turn Editing Off, it restores the window, and I can now see it as our participant would see it. And if I click that link, I would go to that particular website. And again, these are the, probably the two most popular resources that people are going to add to um, different topics or weeks in their course, files and um, um, web links. And there are other things you can do with uh, files and web links as well as other types of resources that you can add. This video is just meant to be a brief introduction to the topic of uh, resources. There will be other classes and videos on further topics and how you can customize this as well. In the next video, I want to show you how to set up your gradebook.